Ecological hoofprint is a way of thinking about the resource budget and environmental burden associated with industrial livestock production and, and how it, uh, magnifies the, it magnifies in a very large way the environmental impacts and, and, and uh, pollution burdens and waste streams and atmospheric impact associated with industrial grains and oilseed uh, monoculture production. So, uh, ultimately, the, uh, the, there are an incredible amount of the world's cereals and oil seeds are flowing through animals, and that is an inefficient way to produce food. There's all kinds of uh, uh, problems associated with those resource flows into the process of industrial grains and oil seeds, and then as we cycle them through an animals and the, the inefficiencies associated with converting feed into food and the losses of meta in the metabolic processes of animals, it basically magnifies those resource uh, resources and, and environmental impacts associated with producing grains and oil seeds uh, through industrial production. So one of the big points I want to get across with the hoofprint is, is to think about it as this magnifier of uh, the burden of industrial uh, grain oil seed production. But I also want to think about it in the sense of uh, the additional resource budget and pollution burden associated with those sites of production themselves, the sites of industrial livestock or factory farms. And then ultimately I want to go beyond just the, the question of resource uh, flows and pollution streams and to think about the relations between species that's entailed in this transformation. So to think about this as, as a really revolution in the way humans interact with animals and and uh, the num and, and that is a, has both quantitative in terms of the volume of animal uh, or not volume number of animal lives involved and in terms of the, the nature of those relations and the way animals have been turned into pure commodities uh, in the in, in, in the violence that is inflicted upon them is is uh, is something that I think is uh, when you put those two together, both the numbers and the, the you know 60 billion animals this year on a planetary scale, an increasing share of those animals f farmed in industrial conditions, and when you put those numbers together with uh, the, the intensive confinement and the violence that they're subjected to physically and and the emotional stresses and the, and and thinking about, I, I think it, it does constitute a, a revolution in interspecies relations that I think is an important part of this overall picture.